Okay, so now that I showed you guys the uh, finished product, I'm going to show you actually uh, how I made it. Uh, so basically, what we want to do is we have our video, right? And we can see, uh, and I'm just going to mute that real quick because that's horrible on my ears. But as we can see, we have our footage, right, of the, the shark, um, but it's very blue because we're underwater. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff going on as well. But to get to the final product, uh, we need to actually color correct this and do some other tweaks as well. And when I say color correct, that's mostly for the blue tint. There's also a lot of other enhancements that you can do to really make the uh, video pop like showed in the final product. So what we want to do is, um, I'll just call this temp or mm, what we can do is we can right click this and we can do open with other application and click shortcut and we'll load up shortcut and as we can see we have the video loaded up into our preview and so then what we can do is we can drag this from the preview onto the timeline and then boom we have the video on the timeline and what I like to do for this is to make the timeline as small as possible and to just to play it and what we're looking for is a place in the video where we can see some white now uh, what I do for other times when either the sand is not white it's not like coral sand or there's nothing white in the video is that actually on my um, wrist and I think I'm the camera going on my wrist I'll put like a little uh, white sticker or something right and so if I'm recording I'm able to point the camera at my wrist at the sticker, right? And that'll be my color reference for what white should be. Um, and so from that, we can determine how much to uh, correct uh, the video. But let's see if we can pop this out, actually. I don't think we can for this preview, but we can make this bigger. And so what I'm actually gonna use is, we're very lucky, this shark, has a very nice white tip on its, um, I believe it's called dorsal fin. So what we can do is we can use that as our white reference for the video. And so what we wanna do in Shotcut is we wanna click on this filters now, and we have our uh, video selected. And what we wanna do here first is, it's called white balance, and you can see I have it starred. So we do this, and this neutral color, this neutral color is what we want, um, white to be. You don't actually use the stropper, you click this and what that will do is it'll open up the uh, GTK selector. So we can do here and as you can see I have some previous ones that I've selected for various depths but we want to do a new one. So we do this plus and then we click this eyedropper and we can actually hover over the video to select the the tip of the shark's thing. And that will be our neutral color of what we expect white to be. So if we hit that select, boom. Suddenly all the blue is gone and we're able to see, you know, the actual color of the shark. And so now this is cool. If you wanted to just do like raw color correction, um, this would be fine enough, right? But actually what we want to do is we want to do better than that. So what we want to do is first things first, because we're actually um, recording the video in the water and there's a lot of particles in the water um, we kind of get like a fuzzy image um, just because of the the stuff in the water and just the fact that we're um, having some refraction of the light through the water and so we can do sharpen and then uh, yeah so apparently I can't edit the properties of sharpen I don't know what changed uh, but as you can see when I'm unselecting and reselecting it the, the, the fin of the shark is a lot clearer. It's a very subtle change. And so what we can also do is, um, we can also do um, contrast, which is another one, right? What we can do is we can just boost the contrast a little bit just to really make the colors pop. So I think, that might be a good amount because we can really see the uh, hue of the shark. 
And if we go to other places in the video, it shouldn't be too ridiculous. Um, like that's like a pretty good color for a shark in my opinion. And you can see my flippers, it's a little bit um, weird looking. But for the final thing, um, which is saturation. Where is saturation? There we go. Um, we're also able to add a little bit more oomph to what we're seeing. So, and all this stuff, I would just do it by um, by eye of like what looks good. Because honestly, unless you're like really trained in this stuff, you just do the best you can. So the saturation will add a little bit of color back of what we removed from the white balance. So uh, finally we can do the order which is white balance and we want sharpen to be last. And then we want saturation. Okay. And we can see what what everything does. Just a little hint of color back with the oversaturation. The contrast makes things pop. And the sharpen is the final thing that you know kind of adds a little bit. Oomph. I'm still wondering why I can't select how much to sharpen, but. I'll figure that out later. Um, I'll follow a bug report for that. But yeah, then all you want to do is export. Um, and for free, I'll show you my favorite export settings. Um, so we have, what did I call it? YouTube Baby or a copy of YouTube Baby? What? Advanced, other. Yeah, we want YouTube Baby. Um, basically, YouTube Baby has all the settings that uh, YouTube is expecting for on their official documentation. So we have um, all this stuff is fine, but then the real magic is in the codec. We're using um, GOP of 15 and fixed. We're using uh, global quality of 18. Uh, we're using the, the GPU for this job. Uh, we're having two B frames and we're doing automatic codec. Uh, we have sample rate of 4800 AAC, this bit rate, and then we have these flags. So we have fast start, uh, we have a profile of high, and then we have the uh, medium presets for the video. And then what we can do is when we're ready, we can click export, and we were in Tico time, so we can do to correct, and then we have shark. And then that's it. So while it's exporting, I'm gonna stop recording the OBS and then I'll splice in the before and after um, onto me talking right now. And so you're able to see um, what it'll look like in the end. So uh, yeah, overall the points is that you want to use the white balance to kind of get the neutral color again. Then you wanna use saturation to add back in a little bit of color that you lost to the white balance. Um, but in a more neutral way. And then you want to do um, contrast to make the colors pop a little bit more and then sharpen to add back the sharpness to the video. And with that, you're able to basically color correct and make your scuba footage look um, a lot better, at least in my opinion. So hopefully you guys found this useful and um, you'll, you'll use it in the future with, with your footage. Um, it's kind of awesome that you can do this with a piece of free software like ShotCut. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Pseudo Pluto. Out.